The liver is the largest gland in the human body and carries out more than 500 vital functions, so much so that it has been defined as the chemical laboratory of our body. It produces bile, clotting factors, and many enzymes necessary for digestion, performs important metabolic functions, disposes of damaged red blood cells, and removes harmful and toxic substances present in the blood. When one of the liver cells accumulates a series of mutations in its genetic material, it can begin to proliferate in an abnormal and uncontrolled way, thus giving rise to the formation of a tumor mass. According to the latest available data, liver cancer is the sixth most common cancer worldwide and the second most common cause of premature death from cancer. Worldwide in 2020, approximately 900,000 new diagnoses of liver cancer were estimated, with an incidence in men twice as high as in women and with a greater frequency in people over 50 years of age. The most common form of liver cancer is hepatocellular carcinoma and represents approximately 75% of all primary liver tumors. In most cases it occurs in patients suffering from cirrhosis, a chronic and degenerative liver disease that occurs when a large amount of normal liver tissue is permanently replaced by scar tissue and therefore non-functioning. But what are the most common signs and symptoms of liver cancer? Let's go see them. Generally, in the initial stages, liver cancer is particularly silent, as it does not cause particular symptoms. As it spreads through the body, the first symptoms begin to appear. Liver enlargement. We talk about hepatomegaly when the liver increases beyond its normal size and can be a symptom of numerous pathologies, such as fatty liver disease, cirrhosis and hepatitis, but also of some diseases of a tumoral nature. If the enlargement of the liver is due to the presence of a tumor that originates directly from the liver cells, we speak of primary liver cancer, while if it is due to metastasis, that is the process by which the tumor cells move from the area where they have formed in another part of the body, we speak of secondary or metastatic cancer of the liver. Hepatomegaly is the result of the growth of the tumor mass inside the liver, which occupies more and more space, causing an increase in the size of the organ. In some cases the tumor can also block the bile ducts buildup of bile, but we'll talk more about this later. Pain Pain in the upper right part of the abdomen can be one of the symptoms associated with liver cancer. The sensation of pain can vary from person to person and depends on several factors, such as the size and location of the tumor, as well as individual sensitivity can be a sharp and throbbing pain or dull and persistent. This is because as the tumor mass grows it can exert increasing pressure on the surrounding tissues, causing a sensation of pain in the affected area. Irritation or damage to the surrounding nerves activates nociceptors, that is those sensory nerve endings specialized in recognizing painful stimuli and transmitting them immediately to the brain. The tumor can also release chemicals, such as cytokines and prostaglandins, which make nociceptors more reactive to stimuli, thus causing a more intense painful response to stimuli to which they would not normally respond. Pain associated with liver cancer can also radiate to other parts of the body, including the back and shoulders. In this case we talk about referred pain, as it is perceived in an area of the body other than the one where the pain originates. This phenomenon may be due to the fact that sensory information from different parts of the body is transmitted to the brain through neural pathways, and sometimes these pathways may converge or overlap at the level of the spinal cord or other central nervous structures. Jaundice Jaundice is a medical condition characterized by a yellowish discoloration of the skin, mucous membranes and sclera of the eyes, white fibrous membrane that lines the eyeball. This color change is due to the accumulation of bilirubin, a reddish-yellow pigment that is formed due to the degradation of hemoglobin, following the natural destruction of red blood cells that have reached the end of their life cycle. Under normal conditions, the bilirubin produced is transported to the liver, where it undergoes a series of chemical reactions to be metabolized and eliminated from the body through bile. 
However, in the case of liver cancer, the normal process of metabolizing bilirubin does not work properly, and it will begin to accumulate in the blood and tissues, leading to the onset of jaundice. This is because the tumor can damage or destroy healthy liver cells, compromising their ability to metabolize bilirubin, as well as the function of the liver in general. Not only that, as the tumor mass increases in size it can partially or completely obstruct the bile ducts, a series of ducts that carry bile from the liver to the gallbladder and then to the duodenum, the first part of the small intestine. This physical obstruction by the tumor hinders the normal flow of bile which will end up accumulating in the body, leading to jaundice as well as a series of health consequences. Unintentional weight loss and loss of appetite. The liver plays a key role in the digestive system as it is involved in the management and storage of sugars, in the catabolism of proteins, and is responsible for the production of bile which is used to emulsify fats and therefore make their absorption by the intestine possible. Unintentional weight loss could be one of the symptoms associated with liver cancer, as the presence of the tumor mass causes difficulties in digestion and absorption of nutrients. For example, if it hinders the production or outflow of bile, there may be reduced absorption of fats in the small intestine, and therefore a reduction in calories consumed daily, with consequent weight loss. We speak of cancer cachexia, to indicate a multifactorial syndrome, characterized by a progressive loss of muscle mass, with or without fat mass, which leads to a profound state of physical, biological, and nutritional deterioration. The presence of a liver tumor can also negatively affect appetite, as certain chemical substances are produced that interfere with the regulation of appetite and a loss of interest in food. Not only that, the tumor causes an increase in energy expenditure, as it needs more energy for the proliferation of neoplastic cells. The latter, having rapid growth and an altered metabolism, consume a greater quantity of nutrients than normal cells, thus increasing daily energy needs. The state of cancer cachexia is also responsible for a feeling of tiredness and chronic fatigue in patients with liver cancer, as well as a slowdown in mental abilities, malaise, nausea, and vomiting. In conclusion, we would like to remind you that all the symptoms described in this video are not specific exclusively to liver cancer, but also to numerous other liver and non-liver diseases. For this reason, it is important to always contact your doctor or a specialist in order to undergo an in-depth evaluation, and therefore ascertain or exclude the presence of a tumor or other liver disease.